In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create a great YouTube thumbnail using just your phone. We'll use a free app called Canva, which is available for iPhone and Android devices. At the end, I'll show you how to upload this thumbnail to YouTube from your phone. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Hi, this is Diana and welcome to our channel. For this project, we're going to be using an app called Canva. With this app, you'll be able to create awesome thumbnails even if you are an absolute beginner. Also, you'll be able to create these beautiful designs using just the free version of the app. Welcome to the Canva homepage. To start with, we are going to use the search bar that we have on top of the screen and we're gonna search for YouTube thumbnail. We're gonna tap on the first option that we see here and then we'll land on this page. We have a lot of templates available in Canva that we can use for our own thumbnails. So you could either go for this easy way, you will have some free templates. You will see like, for example, these two here and this one. And then you will have some Canva Pro templates, which are, for example, this one. And let me try to find another Pro template, this one. So the one with the label will be available only for Canva Pro users. If you are using a Canva free account, you can go for any of the thumbnails without the crown. For this tutorial, we're gonna use a blank option because in Canva you could either select a template or you can create your own design. So I'm gonna click on create blank so I can show you how to create your own custom thumbnail. We landed on the Canva editor and we have the design tab or design section open. We're going to use the uploads section because I want to upload a couple of photos of myself to this design because I want to see my face in my thumbnail. But before I upload the photos that I have on my camera roll, I'm going to remove the background of my photos. To do this, we're going to use a website called remove.bg. This is a free website, so you don't need to download any app, everything is free. We're gonna access the photos that we have on our phone by clicking on this button, then select photo library. Select the photo that you want to remove the background to, so I'm gonna select this one and then choose. As you can see, we have now the photo without the background and this process took me just a couple of seconds. Because I'm using the free version of this website, my photo will have a lower resolution. But I think for these kind of designs, it's okay to have a photo with a lower resolution. I'm gonna select download. From here, I'm gonna select again download and then open in. Open in downloads. And then you'll see that we have our photo in this folder. I'm gonna click or tap on my photo and then select this button right here. Now we can select save image. I'm gonna select done and I'm going back to Canva. Coming back to Canva, I'm gonna move from the design tab to the uploads tab. In here, we're gonna tap on upload files, photo library, and now we have the photo that we just removed the background to in here. So select the photo and then hit add. Now we have the photo without the background in Canva. You can select the photo and we now have our photo in our blank canvas. I'm gonna leave it right here for the moment. And now I want to show you something special here in Canva because maybe some of you already have Canva Pro and don't know about this feature yet. I'm gonna select the plus icon and I'm going to upload a photo with a background. So let's go for this one. 
add. Here I have the photo with the background. I'm gonna select the photo and from here I can go to the menu below and select effects. This one that I'm going to show you now is available only for Canva Pro users. In here you will see the background remover effect and when you click on this option, Canva will automatically remove the background from your photo. And this photo will be in high definition. So this is something cool about Canva Pro, but I wanted to show you the free version in case that some of you are still working with the free version of Canva. So I have the photo that I just removed the background to in Canva, and I want to change the color in the background so you can see the transparency in my photos. I'm gonna select the background and then go to color. I'm gonna select a random color in here so let's go for a pink color. As you can see I don't have anything around me so that's pretty cool and let me delete one of these photos first and now let me work only with this photo. I'm gonna add a white border to this photo. This is something that many youtubers use and I think it looks actually pretty cool. So we're going to go to effects and in here we are going to search for the app shadows. We're going to tap on this app and then tap on glow. From here we're going to tap a second time and we'll have access to these sliders. So I'm going to move transparency to 100 blur to zero and then I'm gonna change the color to white. So pay attention to what is going to happen around me. Let's go back. Now I'm gonna increase the size of this border and when you're happy with the result you're gonna hit done. I'm gonna select my photo one more time because I want to show you this option right here. We can adjust the way our photo looks in Canva. I'm gonna adjust the brightness a little bit and also the contrast. You could also play with the saturation slider or the clarity and vibrance. I'm gonna move the vibrance a little bit to the right the highlights as well and let me go back to brightness and contrast. I think this one looks a little bit better. I'm gonna leave it like this and now let's add some text to our thumbnail. Let's go to the plus icon at the bottom of the screen and in here we're going to search for the text tab. Select the button that says add a text box and now we can add from three to five words to our thumbnail. We want to have special keywords that are going to get our viewers attention or our potential viewers attention. So I'm gonna add just three words and I'm gonna make them very big and very bold. So I'm gonna type YouTube and then I'm gonna edit this text box. I'm gonna start by going to font. I'm gonna select the Anton font for this thumbnail. Let's go for the first option, which looks very, very bold. Hit done. Let's close the font window. And now I want to go to the effects section. From here, we're going to slide this menu until you see the background option. We're going to select this option and now we're gonna tap a second time on top of this settings icon that we see in here. This gives us access to these sliders so you can adjust the roundness of the box that we see behind the text. You can increase or decrease the spread of this box. I'm gonna reduce it and then if you want you can also adjust the transparency of the box behind our text box. I'm gonna change the color of this box. I'm gonna use a red color and then I'm also going to change the color of my text. So let's move to color and now I'm going to select white. Now I'm gonna change something here in format. I'm gonna select this button so my text becomes all caps automatically. 
there you go. I'm gonna increase the size of this text box and tilt it a little bit. Now that I have the style that I want on this text box, I'm gonna duplicate the text box so I don't have to do all the settings again. And I'm gonna add my second keyword. So it will be YouTube thumbnails, hit done. I'm gonna increase the size of the text box and reduce the font size. Okay, I'm gonna add one last keyword. So I'm gonna duplicate this text box and I'm gonna add the word tutorial. For this box, I'm gonna change the color in the background. So I'm going back to effects, going back to background. So I'm gonna tap again in here and I'm going to change the color to a blue color. There you go. Now let's adjust the position and the size of these text boxes so they all fit in this design. Now I want to show you one tool that I love when I'm using the Canva. I want this text box to go a tiny bit below but when I move it with my fingers it is not landing exactly where I want it to go. So I'm gonna select my text box and then search for this tool right here. Tap on nudge and then you will have access to these little arrows. This is going to allow us to move our elements one pixel at a time. So we can be extremely precise with this tool. I think I'm happy with this position of the elements. Now we're going to add some elements that will help us explain the content of the video. I'm gonna do this by adding a logo. You could add elements, maybe some other photos, maybe logos. So let's go to the plus icon. I'm gonna search for the elements tab and I'm gonna type Canva. Let's hit intro. And as you can see, we have the Canva logo right here. This is perfect because I want to show in this thumbnail that this tutorial is actually a Canva tutorial. If you were talking about another platform, software or anything else, you could try to find the logo of the brand that you are using in the Canva library. If you cannot find it, maybe you can't download it from another website and then come back to Canva and upload it. I'm gonna add a couple of elements to this design to add more uniqueness or something interesting to the design. So I'm gonna change the color of the background to yellow. There you go, I think this way the text pops a little bit more. Now let's add a pattern very subtle pattern to the background. So let's go to the plus icon and search for blob pattern. Hit enter. I have here under graphics this pattern which is free to use. So select it. I'm gonna change the direction of this pattern, increase its size, then go to color, select white, and then let's go to the transparency feature because I want this pattern or this texture to be very subtle. So 30 points looks nice. Then let's go to position and select to back. Now this element is behind all these other elements. Now I want to add an extra shape. I want to add a circle behind me to create a little separation and to bring some attention to my face. So let's go to the plus icon, go back to elements and this time under lines and shapes, here we have the circle that we need. I'm gonna increase the size of this circle, put it on top of me. I'm gonna select the three dots and select send backwards and I'm gonna select it one more time until I see that the circle is behind me. I'm gonna change the color to a pink color. I'm gonna play around a little bit with the position of my elements until I am happy with the design. Hey 
I think I'm happy with how my design looks, so I'm gonna show you how to download this design. Remember that I'm using the free version of Canva and will be able to download this design without any issue. So let's go to the navigation bar on top. You can either select this arrow pointing down or this arrow pointing up. I'm gonna select the one that is pointing down that says download because this one is going to automatically start downloading my design. Now that my thumbnail has been saved to my camera roll, let me show you how to upload it to YouTube. To upload the thumbnail to YouTube, I'm using the YouTube Studio app, which is this one. Once you are inside the YouTube Studio app, you're going to the Content tab. From here, select the video that you want to upload or change the thumbnail to. Let's say that I want to change the thumbnail to this video. Tap on the video, then tap on the pencil icon that you see on top of the screen. From here, select the image icon and then select change. This is going to give you access to your camera roll, so select the thumbnail that you just downloaded from Canva. Then we're going to hit select and then on the next window hit save. If you are creating content for YouTube, I have another tutorial that I think you are going to love because I show you how to use the new video editor in Canva. So I'm going to leave that tutorial in here. And also, if you create content for Instagram, you should follow my Canva profile that I'm going to leave in here so you can access new and trendy templates every week. If you liked this tutorial, remember to give us a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. I guess this is it for today. I really hope that you you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next one. Bye!